Hi, thanks for purchasing my 3D model pack for MA3D. Uh, I've had a couple of emails to do an instruction video on how to install my pack and to change models in MA3D. Uh, so here it is. Now Windows by default sometimes hides some system folders and files. We need to unhide these first before we uh, install the pack. Um, to do this go to your Windows control panel, select folder options, uh, then view tab and then check the show hidden folders uh, checkbox this will unhide all your folders now we need to go to where you save the downloaded files and we need to unzip so I've got mine already here ready to go so I'm just going to click uh, click on that and I'm going to unzip unzip to a selected folder now we need to uh, go to the MA3D folder so I've already saved mine so we need to go to is uh, C program data MA lighting technologies grand MA and then in there you'll see all the versions of uh, MA2 PC that you've in installed I'm working with 3.11 so I'm going to go down here 3.11 uh, and into the 3D folder and I'm going to unzip into that folder. Alright, everything's unzipped. And now if we open that folder, you can see the full um, path here to that folder. You'll see a bunch of GMA media files. These are the models used inside MA3D. Um, now you need to make sure you're in the version that you're using. So for me it's 3.11. Um, and you can see now that all of uh, my model files have, uh, have now gone into that folder. Now when you go back to MA3D you should find a bunch of new uh, models in, inside it. So I'm just going to get out of those now. Back into MA3D. And you can see I've just got a, uh, a show file that I've set up that's just got a bunch of different type fixtures, all with the standard uh, models that come with MA3D uh, on it. Now I'm just going to view the media database window. That's where all your models are. I'm just going to open it up a bit. And you can see now uh, that you've got a new folder in there called Keylight. That's all your model packs. And if you expand that out, you see a bunch of different uh, models in there. Now for general models like backline and people and stuff you can just click on them and they'll uh, appear in your window and you can move them around and you can see now in fixtures it's a whole bunch of different new fixtures that I've uh, added in there that you can use. Now we're just going to go around and start uh, changing these models to get the actual uh, show folder show the correct fixtures so I'm just gonna close that to make it a bit bigger now the way we're going to do this is we'll start off with uh, with my dimmers and stuff first so I'm just going to go to 3d objects I'm going to click on here fixture ID uh, to get things going in the correct order numbers now I'm going to start off with some profiles on the front truss I've just got some uh, Standard sort of source for profiles. Now I'm just going to go back to stage view. I'm going to change the view to something you can see. They just show up as generic park hands by default in dimmers. Now you can see they're all selected. I'm just going to right click while they're selected. And uh, down here I'm just going to go change model. Now when you go change model, it's going to show all the available models that are there. You can see the standard ones that come with MA3D here and then you'll see a bunch of, of my new ones here. So I want uh, Source 4 Profiles in there so I'm just going to click on that and go OK and you can see now that all of these have all changed to my Source 4 models. Ok, next thing we're going to do is uh, on the back truss I've got a bunch of uh, 8 light ACLs so I'm just going to change the view a little bit here you can see them all there again they're just shown as standard park hands they're just a dimmer um, but I've labeled these accordingly in my show file uh, so I know what they are so I'm going to select 
for my eight light ACLs. You can see them all up there highlight again. I'm just going to right click, change model, and I'm going to select my eight light that I've got there. And I'm gonna click OK. You can see now they've all changed to eight lights. Uh, next thing is uh, I've got a bunch of just standard two light DWEs, two light blinders, multis, whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to select those. In fact, I'm going to select those and the ones on the floor because they're all just uh, uh, two lights. Again, I'm just going to right click, change model, and I'm going to select my DWE duet. There you go, you can see them up there on the truss and also those ones down there on the on the floor. Um, I've turned up, just so you can see too, I've turned up the point light colour and the ambient uh, colour in here just to make uh, moving things around easier and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so basically we've done all my standard dimmers here now, so I'm just going to scroll down and we'll start doing some of the movers and stuff. Um, okay, so if I go back to front wash, front view, um, all my movers on the front truss, uh, they're just the standard movers, but I have actually patched those as uh, Viper washers, so I'm just going to change all of those front wash, so I'm going to select them all again, right click, change model. Now you'll see that the model types that have come up are different because we're now in the head move class so only uh, models that can be used for that will come up. So you can see all the standard ones that come with it and then you can see all of my models that you can change it to. Um, so I've made them Viper washes so I'm just going to select my Viper wash model. You can see now these have all changed to Viper washes. Okay, uh, just going to move along here now. I've also got some Viper washes on the floor, which I've just called floor washes here. So I'm just going to select all of my floor washes. Again, I'm just going to right click, change model, and scroll down, Viper wash, select them all. You can see all my floor washes have now changed to Viper models. Um, okay, next one's down. I've got a bunch of BIs, uh, K10s, uh, so I'm just going to select those. These are just in standard shapes mode, so I'm just going to, uh, again, select those, right click, change model, and I'm going to go to my CP BI K10, and OK. You can see that they have now Oops, the button. Just going to zoom in, you can see that they've all changed to BIs. Now these are standard in shapes. Um, obviously, um, in shapes mode, you don't actually see your shapes in MA3D. That's a macro that's built in in fixtures, so you're not going to see those in MA3D. Um, if you're wanting to run extended mode um, with individual pixels of those, um, check out my other video uh, that I'm doing on uh, pixel map fixtures uh, and extended mode fixtures that I'm now updated for 3.1 and now work. Um, so yeah, anyway, got my BIs up uh, and I've got a bunch of Sharpies. So uh, truss again, I'm just going to select those. You can see them highlighted up here. Again, I'm going to right click, change model, scroll down, and go clay pack, oh, no, that's the wash, clay pack your sharpie, and you can see, I've got a bunch of sharpies up there now. Um, okay, now I've also put a bunch of BMFLs in, Ruby BMFLs, and select them, right click, change model. Scroll down and find the BMFL spot. Select that. You can now see I've got a bunch of BMFLs. Now we're starting to look like we've got the uh, 
yeah, right fixtures up here. So we've still got a couple of power cams over there, which are my Atomics. So I'm going to select those. Right click, change model, and select my Atomic. So now the show file looks a bit more uh, like what it is. Um, now the next thing we need to do is check that things are orientated the right way. Um, now to do this, what I'm going to do is just hide the stage first thing so I can just have a better look on the top of the fixtures and I'm just going to change my view a bit now and uh, so I can see on top and you can see on the front truss, the arrows are all pointing down stage, which is all the way, the way I want it. Now, you can see here that all my BIs are pointing to the to the right. Now, that's just because of the way I've had to build uh, the fixtures um, for the import. Now, uh, we need to turn all of those so the arrows face forward. Um, if you've used the BIs before, you'll know that they home 90 degrees to straight. Um, so first off, I'm just going to find all my BIs. View properties. Properties. And I'm going to rotate them on the Z axis. Minus 90. Oh, no, 90 degrees. And you can see now that all the BI's arrows are all pointing down stage. Uh, that'll be cables to the back um, and display to the front I think on the BI's but you can see now that they home 90 degree position which is standard on the BI's. Um, so now everything kind of looks like it should. So thanks for watching that's how you install my model pack and how you change models in MA3D for basic head movers and other fixtures. I've done a, another video on extended fixtures and pixel mapping fixtures um, that you can now do in 3.11 and I've updated my models to work like that. Um, so check that video out and I've also done one on uh, explaining pan and tilt in MA3D versus reality. And, uh, how to make that work better for you. Thanks for watching.